okay so let's take a look at how to create a new project in dotnet multi-platform app ui also known as mavi right so what we're gonna do is we are going to check whether we have visual studio or not if you don't have it go to visual studio website then click on downloads then download the communication this edition should be uh, good to go with your new version of mavi okay so if you already have existing visual studio just open the visual studio installer right this will be same as the one you download online right so it, this will only show you the existing uh, downloads that you have made okay so for fresh install this will be empty right now update your existing visual studio 2022 right so once you update this you will be able to see new options because if you don't update this you won't be able to see the mavi within your packages right so when you search for individual packages it should appear there and also it has added that new mavi component within this particular installer so this needs to be updated right as you can see once we go there and check the updated installer we'll have to check for that mavi component right now one more thing to do is you can also download the preview edition so every time you uh, update your preview edition it will install the latest version of the mavi and any other component that's out there right so we'll take a look at the installer here as you can see it is waiting to download the further components so in my case it's 5.34 gb and i have pretty low speed right now which is 12 to 13 mb so it'll take some time Okay. okay as you can see my visual studio is now updated i will have to go back to modify again and here we'll have to find the workloads right we have this mavi component right this is checked that means it is installed we can verify whether we have mavi right so now that we just updated it installed the workload with it right if you need any any other workload you can just select that and then click on install right currently with the update we got mavi installed right now let's close this next thing we'll have to do is we'll have to launch the visual studio right so we'll launch it from here right now the next thing uh, is to create a project right so let me just minimize this right so within that we will have multiple options like for desktop windows then blazor or any class library etc so we'll go through those options as well now here you see our visual studio launcher and here i can click on create new project and it should give me enough option to find a movie project so let it load the templates now here we'll have to check for all platforms and choose the platform or simply select all then type of project you will have to choose mavi right now within this selection you will have to select .NET mavi app click next now here you can keep it as mavi app one or you can give it a name mavi demo right next thing you can see the location where it will be stored right you want this location to be stored or you can change this to something else 
right see if you have documents visual studio and here you will select the folder see code snippets go with this if you want right or you can go with the main one select folder here you see this is the location mobi demo is the solution name click next now here you can select the framework if you have multiple you can go with that otherwise just pick the default click create it will take few seconds to minutes and it will create a project meanwhile one more thing to do is go to your settings on windows and here you will have to check for developer mode right so let it load as well right so meanwhile let's type in developer right and go for developer settings if you don't need the visual studio installer you can simply close it you don't need it anymore next thing make sure developer mode is set to on install apps from any sources including loose files right make sure this is on now you can close the window and come back to this project window right so let's wait for it to finish okay so the default project that opens is specific to windows machine you can select this and if you want to select the framework you can see .NET 6 windows and we can run this right so if developer mode is on it will start the debug process as you can see at the output side it has started the debug process so it should show us this particular windows Mavi app right so we will also take a look at another instance of this particular app for different platform which is android right now as you can see once i started the debug process it has opened this windows app so by default it all also opens this toolbar at the top of window and it will show you one button click me which updates its status clicked one time it also has two labels and one image right uh, in the background you can see diagnostic tools is showing how much memory is being consumed by this particular app the type of events being triggered and other data like the percentage of cpu taken right so this is just for windows app with mavi if you want to change your platform you can take a look within your solution that you have android ios mac then tyson and windows so we have tried the windows version if we have the emulator installed for android we can try it right and if you are on mac you can try ios and max window app right tyson is different beast you'll have to download its sdk and work with all right also you will need emulator for tyson as well so what we'll do is we'll select from this particular windows machine and then choose android right say pixel 5 which is what i have set up right once i select that it will start running and it will show the progress run the android emulator it should ask you to open device manager right here you will be given option to create android device right see it says pixel 5 api 31 let it download do note that you will have to edit few settings because 1 gb ram won't be enough so you will have to first download and change those specs right okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the memory right so right now as you can see we have to check for 
the RAM size here, right? How much RAM do you want? And we can change that, right? So let's see if I want 4 GB of RAM. So we can check for how much that would be. 4 GB to MB, right? So 4 gigabytes, 4000, right? So I just wanted to check the proper conversion like that. 3072, then 4, right? Something like that. So 4096 is the right amount that I want to put in RAM size, right? Let's save this. Also, you can see the SD card size and few other settings that you can change. So for now, let's go with this, save this. Right now I will have to accept the license right and here you see the memory becomes 4 GB the license is accepted for now if you want to start the image you can click on this start button it should open one instance of this particular emulator right so let's wait for it to open up do note that when you open this Android device manager, it usually requires the permission, right? So see, our emulator is opening. Also, you'll notice that emulator is open. We get an option to run. As you can see, when we run it on Android, it will show up on that particular emulator. If you click on the button, will continue to show the updated value as well so basically we have learned how to deploy it on windows also we have learned how to deploy the mavi app on android as well